a couple announcements. I am going to have to change the format of what I'm doing. And it's not a bad thing. It's just an evolution. I can't continue on with how things are set up. I am under way too much pressure. I am getting pulled and and uh, and pushed into directions that I can't fully commit to unless I change the process. My initial goal, well, not my initial goal, when this first started, it was the order's initial goal to create it wasn't it wasn't a, a, a really honestly what I wanted to do what what the order wanted to do was create small orders all throughout you know the United States the world that were independently operating that you know ours wasn't going to be the parent order and then it would dictate down like a pyramid scheme but to inspire others to begin to create orders themselves to share information to begin to build themselves as, as magicians and then the order around them would spring up and then they could teach and use the videos that we were giving out as guidelines for their own particular order it, it, it it, it never was to be like a large organization because that's very difficult to do and in some ways then it would have to be a pyramid scheme and that's really not what I want at all I, I don't I don't want that I don't I'm not a guru I'm not a I'm not, you know, I'm an activist, yes, I, I very much an activist politically, very much uh, in the physical world, but, you know, I'm, I'm an operator of the spheres, I'm a magician, uh, I believe in taking back the astral world, and I believe in taking away the secrets that the elite have stolen from you. Have, have 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 taken away and hidden and they benefit while you suffer and they benefit from your suffering my goal still is to do that that is part of what's called the great work that that is part of of my great work and some of you also will sooner or later be pulled into that direction as well. It is just part of your destiny. Some of you have already started. I still have probably another hundred videos worth of information that I still need to get out. And it's gotten to the point where I can't even answer emails anymore literally my email box has over I let me um, wow I, I have over 300 messages people who are asking me very pertinent questions people who want to get involved people who are having profound experiences that they never thought were possible, that they only thought was some sort of reality or someone else was making it up or they themselves would never actually have it. And then they have the lucid dream, they have the out of body experience, they meet an entity that is outside of themselves, it's not just some sort of creative visualization process. They meet an entity and they don't know what to do it's blown the world open for them and it's scary and you know part of the problem I guess if you could call it a problem was the fact that magic in this particular way was a very interpersonal experience that 
orders were, were never really bigger than, say, seven or eight people. Um, or things get weird. My order had up to 13 people, and believe me, it, it got weird. It really did. And I, I warned, I said, look, I mean, we are not operating under the structure that we were taught how to operate under. We're going to have problems. And they decided not to listen, and sure enough. And so now I am the sole heir of this entire body of information and I can't hold it all because if I hold it then because I become what an elite and I'm not that I'm very much for the people my patron is Thor Thor is not an, an, an elitist god Thor was and is defender of the people when Loki gone had, had finally went too far and in a Machiavellian move that included Odin for most of the Ossetry people out there these are stories you will never hear <laughs> that Machiavellian move to have Hod kill Balder was a plot now Loki was the one who set it into motion. True. When he had finally gone too far, and all the gods chased him, Odin, Frey, the whole bunch, created intricate schemes to catch him. But they were dealing with the trickiest of the trickest, you know, the, the high par excellence of manipulators. He could beat them at their own game. It didn't matter. Loki changed shape to shape to shape to shape. Whatever the gods threw at him, Loki had the answer. He could play their game for eternity and win and teach them in the process. <laughs> The one thing, the one thing that Loki could not escape when he turned into the slipperiest eel was Thor's grasp. The, the simple grasp of Thor. Now, when I say simple grasp of Thor, I'm talking about, you know, a grip strength that can only be measured in gigatons, okay? I can't, he's fucking Thor for a reason. There's a reason the word, the name Thor, everybody knows who Thor is. And there's a reason for that. You don't become Thor unless your grip strength can only be measured in gigatons. All right? You're fucking Thor. Now, Thor's strength is the collective power of all humanity. The collective force of the common man. The collective strength of the force brought against the elite. That was the grip. That was the only thing that could seize Loki and hold him and then bind him. Do you see where I'm going at with this? Do you see that the human population, the commoners, us common folk, the folk who are on the bottom of the pyramid. Now the elite will scream down from us at, 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 out of their ivory towers. They will do everything they can to focus our attention up there. Make us wish we were up there. Make us step on each other to climb that social ladder. To get a taste of one of their crumbs they kick down at you. Okay? You lick their boots. You suck their crumbs off the floor. Fucking stop! Okay? <laughs> you don't need... That is poison. Nothing they kick down to you isn't straight fucking poison. And they poison you against the others. The common man is their greatest fear. The common man is what could crumble their ivory towers. Because you are on the bottom. You are the power source. St 
Stop giving up your power to them. Start collectively. You carry them on your back. It's time to lift them over your head and send them head face first to the ground. They hate you that much. They hate you so much. They want to eviscerate 95% of you. And all you fucking yuppies. All you white bread assholes who make $300,000, $400,000 a year. Who pay a thousand bucks to sit at their table and lick their boots and eat their crumbs. You're not part of the system. You're just the tiny level above everybody else. And if they succeed, you become the next slaves. They hate the middle class. They hate the middle class because the middle class is the buffer zone. Middle class isn't under their control. They will control the poor class, turn the poor class against the middle class, have them battle it out. They'll even fund the poor class because look, we have all this money and the, and the middle class is not giving you. They hate you. No. They use you. You're puppets to them. You need to begin to cultivate the strength of the common man. No God stands against Thor. None. There is not one that could even handle him. None. Mars, massively powerful. No Thor. Okay? Yahweh, pedophilic, woman hating fucktard. Thor wipes his ass with him. Thor is the defender and was chosen and has never failed as the defender of this physical world. He is the defender of this common man. Mars? Oh my god, you better have him on your side. Because where Thor only defends, Mars is your strike force. Okay? He is the symbolic force for all masculinity. His counterpart is Venus. But Thor is my patron. And so I can't. Religion is the imitation of your God upon the earth. I was just offered $25,000 to teach a pretty well known Kabbalist who hosts seminars for a thousand dollars a seat he was going to pay me twenty five thousand dollars fly me out to his relatively lavish home uh, relatively uh, let's just say lavish home and I could he would just have a private audience and I would give him all my information I said fuck no I'm not gonna do it I am not going to give my information out to an elitist bunch of assholes. I'm not going to do it. These people who come to his seminars already have 100, 200, 300 million dollars. They're just getting more information to get more money. In my private life, oh my god, I'm getting chills. Fuck. Whew. Whew. Uh, I'm, oh, there's a lot of things that I want to get channeled through right now. I'm not going to, no, I'm not going to do it. In my private life, I work with individuals in a number of ways that are worth $500, $600 million. Okay, I go into their homes. They all have their own libraries. I, I make a point to go see it. And the interesting thing is I see all the same books. Now, I see books that you can't buy at the store because these are... These are books that you have to be part of certain clubs to get. And I will peruse these books and I will talk with them. I will engage them in conversation about the occult. They're blown away that I even know it. And I won't give them information that I have, but I will match them tidbit for tidbit. And they invite me into their groups. You don't think I've had personal invitations to join groups into the Illuminati? How the fuck do you think I know so much about them? Why the fuck do you think I want them... Ca 
lacerated so badly because I know, I know how much they hate you. I know how much they despise goodness and love and brotherhood that is not in their own image. And believe me, in the image they have, it is all about cutthroat survival. And even among the elite, they will destroy each other until there is nothing left. They will destroy each other until it is just some handful of transhumanist, cyborg, not even human anymore, individuals that are flying around the stars, killing each other's clones. They believe in this shit. They believe in the merger of high science and high magic. They don't see humanity anymore. They see you as bacteria. This is what they talk about. I've been asked to join these and no, no. I believe I am on the winning side. And even if somehow I'm not, I'll never jump ship. I'll never jump ship. I won't live in that world. I can't. I, I can't. I, I can't. I can't live in that world. And I can't have, I can't, you, I need to give this information out, but the way that I've been doing it has to change. I, I am, I am so pulled in so many different ways. And my great work has started in other areas that I, I can't pull away from. And so in a make it or break it moment, because I am finding that my information, while it's going to people who are using it, it is also getting corrupted by people who are starting to go, whoa, whoa, who's this dude? Where is he getting this information from? And it's not what I just paid $5,000 to sit in a seminar for, okay? You know, uh, you know or, or these so-called gurus who are saying, whoa, he's matching up everything we're saying, and people are starting to listen to him Believe me, it has its repercussions. It has its repercussions. Don't send me healing energy. Don't do it. And I'll tell you why, because every time someone tries to beam some, some sort of healing information or healing energy to me directly, it gets tracked back. And they start going after individual people. Pray, if you're going to do it, pray to Thor. Ask Thor to protect me. Ask Mars to protect me. Ask them to protect me, okay? They already do, but it's nice to hear it from somebody else. <laughs> I, what I'm about to do, because it's getting down to the wire, I, I am desperately working to try to find a way how I could... The 12 Zodiac Breastplate is one of the most powerful protective symbols out there. But just to make one and wear it won't do you any good. It has, everything on my tree has a price and there's no credit. It's not play now, pay later. It's pay as you go. And so I am desperately working with it because it is a long thousands of years tradition that each symbol is spent a year working with. It takes 12 years. I am trying to somehow cut that back a little bit. And the, the, the information I'm receiving is that it's going to still take a year. So it's going to be a month per Zodiac for an entire year process to get that. Now, what, what that will mean is that for as long as the Illuminati, the Illuminati threat continues, you will have the protection of it. But once they fall, and they will, they will, they will fucking fall. For you to continue using it, you would have to then spend the full 12 years to get it back. That is the only compromise that I can come to with the spirits that guard this thing. Is they won't just do it. It's way too long of a tradition and it's way that is not fair to everyone else who has gone through the process. But because we are in dire times, that may be what I, what, what I do. I also am going to be releasing information on the planetary symbols themselves that have never, and I guarantee you never, ever, 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 never under any circumstances has ever been released like the way that I'm going to do it. Because I'm going to teach 
you how and what they truly are and their deeper implications because these symbols were not just meant for sigils these symbols are energetic structures in and of themselves I'm going to give the first one out today I've kind of already done it and some of you have seen it before in certain ways but like the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram I had so many um, ceremonial magicians who were so mad at me because I put down Crowley because and rightfully so he's a pedophilic scumbag um, who were so upset and they watched my lesser banishing of the ritual pentagram and suddenly all the lights went on they said oh my they said fuck Bearheart what what the hell this opened up everything even though they were doing the actual ritual themselves there were key components that they were missing they didn't understand all the aspects of why and once they understood why and applied the why to the how it was like full spectrum dominance protection everything clicked and there is a reason everyone talks about going to a higher vibration and we are the, the earth is moving into a higher vibration but don't be fucking stupid and think higher vibration automatically means positive there are very refined pure intricate silky devastatingly evil energies out there higher vibration just means higher awareness higher awareness means deeper understanding of evil manipulating forces believe me the Illuminati are high level magicians they're just evil as fuck they are so evil they have moved past just evil now they're to the point where they some of them believe that you as humans are actually illusions illusions to be dispelled illusions that get in their way of the world that they want just because we're moving to higher vibrations doesn't mean that the Illuminati have fallen for the idiots out there who think they've been defeated oh my oh geez fuck you people wow so I think what I'm gonna have to do because I, I don't even know I'm gonna do this I am pulled in so many directions and I have a number of people who are absolutely dependent upon me because of their health situations and it's not even magically based it's it's uh, it's it's money it's money issues which I make you know I make okay money it's, it's not that it just I'm going to have to probably take on 12 to 15 more hours a week that's that's my shit it's whatever whatever but also because my YouTube is 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 under some I have to change my password almost daily um, but I'm, I, I need to move it to a different medium and because the information I'm gonna give out has never been released before uh, believe me if it was you would be paying exorbitant amounts of money for it and the elite would probably just close it off the the uh, my 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 favorite pagan booksellers uh, would would be told not to uh, not to publish it and if they did and in some cases they have I, I've seen a snippet of it um, it's so laughably it's just not even funny I think some of their authors are actually computer generated books I really it just it's it's the same book written over and over and over again it just a different name and with a different stupid picture on it um, because I am going to have to prepare for true spiritual warfare coming up I am going to give you my step-by-step -step process of what I'm doing. I'm going to have to do very detailed videos about each and every symbol. I can't do that and not receive compensation for it. There's, there's multiple levels why. But I promise you nothing is going to be above five dollars. Okay? Nothing is going to be above five bucks. Basically it just says I can put gas in my car for a week. That's it. I'm not selling out I promise you I mean a hundred and three videos guys I, I feel so fucking tortured for doing this that I can't even it just it rips me up 
and this is one of the things I tried to promise that I would never do. But I think five bucks is pretty, is pretty nominal. I'm gonna have to probably do it. I, there's a couple sites I'm looking at and to watch my videos it would be five dollars. I think that's okay. You know, I, I think that's okay. Five bucks where, you know, they would make you spend, you know, $14.99 on a book that's absolute bullshit. Um, so, wow, I, I don't have a lot of time. So I will give you, uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you the, the big, big, big solid piece of info for free right now. If you do nothing else, do this and you will be fine. Okay. Everything else is just refinements and evolutions of this. But if you do this one practice alone, you're going to be fine. Now you, you, you are going now and I'll give out information when I actually start doing this. Wow. Um, oh, I just feel like a part of me just got murdered. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you this. <laughs> um, and trust me, if, there's, if you do nothing else, please do this. And this you get for free. Uh, I've kind of talked about it before, and some people have seen it before, and, and it's really in a lot of cultures. But let me break it down to you on why this is so important and give you all the ins and outs about it. And, um, and you'll understand what I mean. Um, so, because yay, the paper. <sighs> We've seen our friendly symbol before. <sighs> Solar symbol. This is the most important aspect of the religion of ceremonial magic. This is you inside your micro universe. We've talked about that. When you stand inside the circle, you become the center of the universe. This is also sometimes seen as the navel of the tree of life. Everything that flows into it comes out of an, like an umbilical cord that has a name, but it's not necessarily important right now. Okay? The channel that flows through you, this nourishes everything in the universe. And when you make full connection with this, it, the universe then nurtures you. It already does it, but the more you're aware of it, the stronger it gets. Now, I'm going to draw another shape. How does this refer to that? This is the solar symbol. Now, it relates to your heart center, true, but this is your navel point. It is the center of you. And this comes around you in all areas. It is a full sphere. It connects all points. This is your sphere of influence. You are the sun of your micro universe. The stronger your connection to this symbol, the more powerful the protective sphere is around you. The more energy flows around you and cannot, cannot penetrate. No. <laughs> No penetration. <laughs> this is not new, okay? But it is the first step. A lot of the Chinese cultures call this embryonic breathing. 
there are a number of systems that just say breathe to your navel center. There's truth to this because it is the truth. Now, the more you do, now I usually do this in the morning and right before I go, especially right before I go to sleep. If you practice this of seeing your entire body surrounded by your own personal sphere and all the energy flowing into your navel as you breathe in, you will develop this connection. This is one of the most power. Now, people are like, oh, but shouldn't it be more intricate? No, it shouldn't be more intricate. It's simple. The strength of Thor is simple, but it's measured in gigatons. Okay? This is something all humans can do to your navel center. You can call it whatever the fuck you want. It really doesn't matter. But this symbol is directly connected to that. You are that middle point. The stronger this connection, the stronger the protective shield around you. As you breathe out energy, as you breathe out that energy, breathe it into your space. Building up pressure outwards so inward pressure doesn't collapse your sphere. Okay? The stronger your connection is to your power center, the stronger your sphere is. Nothing's going to be able to get through it. Nothing. You're going to be the toughest nut to crack out there, I promise you. But you have to do it. You have to focus. Now, here's the other very key focus. The bird of paradise only comes to an open hand. That means as you focus on your navel breathing, and as you see this golden, now because it's a pollen, now because it's solar, it's a golden sphere. As you see this energy around you and breathe in the, all the, you don't have to imagine the universe, but just feel that trickle into your navel center and then breathe it out into your sphere. Keep it very gently in your mind. Don't try to grab it or strangle it, the image. Just hold it very gently, the bird of paradise. If you do nothing else, do this. People are like, oh, it's, all, it's, 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 in, it's in every book. I've seen this a thousand times. Yeah, yeah, it's been reprinted to the point of pure fucking ridiculousness. But this is your start point. Everything else that I am going to go into about every other symbol Every other symbol, every other planetary symbol is based off this. If you do not have a strong foundation in this, everything else will crumble. This is so important that you become the center of your, uh, a solar center of your micro universe. That you connect with that. That you embody it. Your health and your radiance will shoot right through the fucking roof. And it will manifest into your physical body because your astral body benefits hugely from this. Nothing will be able to penetrate your energetic bodies. So all those transplutonian beings, all those negative entities that hang around you suddenly are going to get pushed back further and further and further and further. And their influence is no longer on you. You are then suddenly free to have thoughts that are truly yours. You are suddenly free to have conversations with your highest self that was drowned out with all the background noise, with all the craziness around your astral body. You become centralized, localized, empowered. This whirling sphere around you protects you from energetic calamity, which filters down into physical calamity. That's not to say you're impervious, not by any stretch. But if you're going to stand as a magician that fights for humanity. This needs to be accomplished. You should spend 10 to 15 minutes twice a day just sitting down, laying down, whatever. I prefer laying down. Yeah. And just breathing into your navel center and feeling that sphere around you. The more you are aware of it, and holding the sigil of the solar symbol, I'll redraw it, in your mind while you do it. There is a deeper level practice to this, yes. 
Absolutely. And I will, the, the more and more I, I, I release, the more you'll come back and go, whoa, Bearheart, dude, thank you. Because if I didn't do this, the rest of it wouldn't make sense, nor could it take hold. I, I know it's basic. I know everyone's seen it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Fine. But do it anyways. Do it. Because this will create everything. You will have a magical circle around you at all times. All times. It's not, you don't have to draw one on the floor anymore. After a good solid couple months of working on this, people will physically, tangibly notice your energetic expansion. Believe me, I walk into rooms and people part like the Red Sea. Because they feel it. And when I am in danger and when I am being threatened physically and I manifest it tangibly, the look on people's faces when they can feel that and they can feel that wash over them and they go, whoa, something just happened here. Believe me, it'll blow your mind each and every time. And not, not that you go looking for trouble, but, and then people will be drawn to you. I can barely go anywhere these days without people coming up and wanting to, just saying, I, I need to talk to you. Uh, of course I talk to them. I'm not a jerk. I talk to them. But people come to you. You, are, you. you become magnetic. You are like the sun. People like being in the sun. People like the sun, except for, you know, dirty fucking trans assholes who are trying to block it because, you know, they want your body as... A vessel for their intelligences that would then love to live on the earth without a sun. We've talked about that. The more people who develop, and the, and, you know, the stronger this gets, the less able they they can't get through. No, okay, no. You know, I am I am the multi-eyed trans Plutonian fucktard right here. I'm coming to get you. I'm going to get... Oh, wait. No. Barred entrance. Can't. (laughs) Can't. No. Sorry. It's going to go to someone else who doesn't have this as well developed. Roar. Oh, can't get in. That's C. I know. Just do it, please. Please do this. (sighs) This is the first step. If you want to talk about magical warfare, if you really, really, really want to get into it, you have to develop this. Everyone says, oh, it's simple. Eh, fine, it's simple. It's as simple as a push-up. How many, how many push-ups do people do? They avoid them like the plague. Okay, everyone knows what a push-up is. They just don't fucking do them. Do your push-ups. Drop and give me 20. 